So this is really interesting because I, Elizabeth Warren, I, you know, I think everybody knows if you read her work, if you, you know, if you if you followed her career, that obviously she is when it comes to Wall Street, when it comes to economic justice, when it comes to the the core mechanics of the kind of rigged American economy and what's truly driving the systems of inequality that show up from uh, personal debt to student debt to, to bubbles to the obscene irresponsibility and criminality of the financial industry. Uh, she's there, uh, and she's on top of those issues. Um, and so, you know, that makes her relationship, obviously, because she's also a Democratic senator, and she also indeed worked for the Obama administration. Uh, but we all know that the most charitable read of the Obama administration was that, you know, they they saved the economy from completely collapsing. They had a decent stimulus, um, and they did the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. But fundamentally, Wall Street was totally not held accountable uh, and got off as good as it could wish to get off after causing the global financial crisis. And I don't think she's usually said it this directly, but in a recent interview for Salon, she basically just, she says it straight up. She says, this is Elizabeth Warren speaking to Thomas Frank. Quote, this is of Obama. He picked his economic team, and when the going got tough, his economic team picked Wall Street. Just about every time sided with Wall Street. Um, and, you know, that's really the bottom line. She did go on to say, we would not have a Consumer for T uh, Protection Bureau uh, without President Obama. So he deserves full credit for that. But the bottom line was, was that when they came into office, there was the stimulus, there was the auto bailout, there were some things that did stop the bleeding, but fundamentally did not protect people from losing their homes. There was not a broad bottom-up stimulus. There was no criminal accountability for Wall Street. There is financial reform, which probably is better than some people realize, but is not systemic and doesn't speak to radically reforming and doing deep reform in the American economy and the financial sector that we need. And Elizabeth Warren is laying this straight out. I have to say, I understand why she doesn't want to run for president, but I'm going to find it increasingly difficult to accept that she can come out and say these things so bluntly and then leave the door open for an unimpeded Hillary Clinton run uh, in 2016. Because the reality is, is that Hillary Clinton, there is going to be no difference whatsoever on Wall Street and finance from Obama to Clinton. Uh, Hillary Clinton is incredibly connected with the financial sector. She'll have a little bit of a different rhetoric on it. I think she does on certain domestic issues. She's happy to have, uh, you know, implement some liberal policies if that's what's available. Uh, and, and that's fine. But there does need to be at a presidential level somebody truly, truly making this case, because this is the fundamental issue that we face. This is the driver of inequality. This is the driver of everything from a radical critique about how we organize our economy and our system and our lives, and even a good old fashioned, you know, the, the, but Bill Clinton, when Bill Clinton first ran for president, he said it's about having America work for people who work hard and play by the rules, right? It's a very, you know, that, it, it doesn't get more kind of simple and basic and, you know, middle America than that. But as long as we have these financial arrangements and as long as we have a sector that's fundamentally unaccountable, that's not going to happen. You're going to keep drowning people in student debt. Wages are going to continue to go down. And you're going to keep having this bifurcated, dysfunctional, massively unequal society, which is going to drive all sorts of other ancillary problems. And Elizabeth Warren keeps speaking to it. It might be time for her to actually step up and, and mount a challenge and a run for the presidency with it. Because who else? Look, Bernie Sanders is going to say it. Bernie Sanders is great. Bernie Sanders does not have the platform that she has. She's it right now. She's a great senator. I think she'll continue to be a great senator. But someone needs to be out there making that case, not as a protest and not as an issue raising, but as a I'm going to be elected president to take on the biggest challenges of our time. And that's her right now.